As oil companies set to divest in the Niger Delta, Rivers women, mainly farmers in River State, have criticized the divestment of international oil companies' onshore assets without restoring the polluted environment. The women demanded that President Balatinabu halt the approval of the divestment until the needful was done to assuage their attendant plight following the destruction of their sources of livelihood. We are fighting now is that the farmland where the oil company have destroyed is our farmlands where we are farming. But now, as they have destroyed it with their oil and all the rest, pollution and the other gas flaring, and now they want to leave it unclean. They didn't clean it and they didn't settle us. If they had met the men and agree with the men, we don't know because the men are always against the women. We've gone to Ajib. It's Ajib that is operating in Ibota. So Ajib said they don't have anything to do with women, but they are using our farmland, which we are using to take care of our families and our children. Since 2016, life is not easy here in Iba. Our cassava is no more producing. Corn, okra, nothing. The land is barren. We can't get anything again from the farm. We are just suffering. The water, we are suffering from water. When we go to hospital, they say the water is polluted. So we don't know how to... The water they share brought to us is polluted. Even when we complain, they have refused to do anything. And so we cannot provide water for ourselves. So we keep managing the one we have here. But the water is polluted. The water we are drinking is polluted. Even when we use it to bait, we see some kinds of reaction. You see rashes in our body. A resident in one of the community narrates his family ordeal when crude was discovered in their well that is meant for drinking and being neglected by both multinationals and the federal government. We therefore demand the following. One, the Ministry of Petroleum Resources and the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission to make public all documents submitted to them by SPDC on divestment. Two, Renaissance African Energy should make public all documents submitted for the acquisition of SPDC and all proofs of compliance with the so-called checklist and guidelines for divestment of all of oil assets. Three, the federal government should not approve the divestment of oil assets onto all polluted farmlands, rivers, air, and forests in the Niger Delta have been cleaned and restored. But the other major well, which served as the main evidence, they have to close down that well after removing over 33 liters of crude oil from the said well. So that has been our story. We have been begging them to relocate us, and also they have not paid attention. They are not concerned about our health. Recently, they just um, removed some samples. All this whole place, they have cautioned the place. You can see as you're coming, this whole environment has been cautioned with tape. And they have uh, inscribed no PPE, no entry, no, uh, no smoking in this environment. They have inscribed uh, no use of mobile phone in this environment. But they have allowed my family to live in this same environment that has been polluted. The women call on federal government to come to their rescue as they can no longer farm. Rivers is polluted and crops are damaged. Life has become so unbearable for them. <laughs> 